Cushing's disease uh, usually occurs in animal older, older equines. Uh, as a rule, it's uh, a secondary problem of the hypothalamus that, and most likely is due to a tumor. What ends up happening in cushing oid horses is that they release a, a ton more of, uh, or stimulate the adrenal glands to release a lot more of, of uh, uh, corticosteroids or uh, and uh, mineral or corticoids, they call it. What this does is creates a tremendous imbalance in their ability to uh, to, to metabolize uh, uh, steroids, essentially. But the problem you have is that the secondary symptoms are that they don't have, because it affects the hypothalamus, they do not regulate their hair growth anymore because of the photo period. Typically, horses will release their hair as the days get longer. They grow more hair as the days get shorter. Uh, the way we see this is that we put mares under light in order to kind of fool them to get them to come in the heat, and they'll shed. It's pretty obvious that, the, you know, you could have a horse in the middle of, you know, the, the Arctic region, and essentially if you have them under light, 16-hour light a day, they'll be as slick-coated as they can be because you've, you've overridden the, um, you know, the, the hypothalamic uh, uh, balance in, in, the, in their brain. And the problem you have is Cushing syndrome essentially overrides that, so they don't have the ability to recognize photo period anymore, and they also release a bunch of corticosteroids. So they uh, are predisposed to founder quite readily, and we put them on uh, something that will help to control this or try to override it. Uh, but it is a, a, a tremendous health issue in older horses that you've got to be aware of. And it is, requires uh, a diagnostic uh, workup by a veterinarian in order to determine that you have an older horse with Cushing syndrome and exactly how you're going to treat it in order to uh, maximize their, the quality of life and use from, from that point forward. What are some of the first symptoms you'd see that might lead to a horse that is having Cushing's? Uh, typically, it, the hair coat's probably the most obvious that they don't ever shed out. And mm -hmm. you know, here it is, the middle of summer, and you got a coat. He's got a coat on him like a, he's in the middle of winter, and he looks like a billy goat. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty much you know one of the first signs. And then other signs are that they would founder very easily for no reason, and there'd be yeah. no cause of it. Those two things right there are the kind of like the cardinal signs. And then we st see some other <clears throat> things that would cause that as well that are a little bit more in depth. But those would be the two most obvious. Yeah.